Thank you, Chair. Madam Commissioner, dear colleagues, the ALDE Group has been calling for this plenary debate over the growing concerns of the outcome of next week's United Nations Summit on the Prevention and Control of Non-Communicable Diseases. We can certainly not afford a mild and watered-down UN declaration on such a crucial public health issue, which account of, for 86 percent of debt in Europe and represent a significant economic burden. We are glad to hear that Commissioner Daly will be in New York, and we now hope that the EU position during this summit will lead to an increased effort in the prevention and control of NCDs at global and EU level. Let me just remind a very simple fact. Most NCDs are preventable. Therefore, our first and foremost objective should be the prevention and the reduction of risk factors, mainly tobacco, poor diet, alcohol, the lack of physical activity and environmental pollution. We know that such a strategy could save lives and could also save money, which would also be most beneficial to the sustainability of our national systems currently under pressure. If we really want to be successful and to reduce the burden of NCDs in Europe, we need to rethink our public health model and focus now solely on managing these diseases once people are diagnosed, but also on preventing them. It is therefore essential that we provide people with a healthy environment and opportunities that we inform them about healthy habits and that we enable them to take healthy choices. Preventing and controlling NCDs need political commitment, and that's what we are asking to the Council and the Commission in advance to the UN summit. The burden of NCDs and the scale of the issue in every member state calls for the establishment of an EU strategy on chronic and non-communicable diseases, which will have the, follow the followed by national plans implementing the strategy. Today we are about to vote on a very ambitious joint resolution, which has been tabled with the support of all main political groups. Let me conclude with again a very simple fact, reflected in the Parliament text to be adopted. Food, tobacco, alcohol, lifestyle and environment matter to our health. To succeed in combating NCDs effectively, we need the European Parliament and all institutions to agree on this simple fact, not only today, but also when we debate and vote on our future food, environment and consumer policies. Thank you. Gracias, señora Parvanova.